they did everything they could to completely eradicate Christianity, destroyed all churches. And one of the most effective methods they used was to control the leadership training of the churches in Romania. At that time, we prayed, we fasted, and we asked God to tell us what can be done to counter that strategy. It was a two-year degree underground with all of the professors uh, teaching in different places, different locations, uh, basically in hiding. We had over 400 million people that came to political freedom overnight. And this huge area was in a desperate need to hear the gospel. At that time, we decided to take the underground operation and place it above the ground and start Emmanuel Theological Seminary. When freedom came, many people didn't realize that freedom in itself is not the friendliest uh, form of life toward the gospel. Because immediately, all the things of the world flooded Romania. We had pornography, drugs, uh, prostitution, uh, trafficking of all sorts. So if communism was a persecuting form of government, now freedom and postmodern culture is a seducing uh, culture. And the challenge is to train a young generation of men and women who will stand for Christ, who will understand the culture. And when the gospel comes, what happened to the pagan Europe in the time of Reformation and the great revivals must happen again. In 1990, when this university took off as an institution of higher learning, the immediate thought uh, was to build a university which is able to help. This is why the initial idea was to build something around theology, because not having enough pastors was an issue. But it was very early after that that we grew to realize that that's not enough. It's simply not enough because we realized poverty, and other issues, abandoned children, and people with real health and other problems were there. And we needed professional help. So founding a department of social work came as a glove uh, on what we had already had. One of my deepest desires from childhood was to study theology and God opened a door in 1990. I am now among the first graduates at Emmanuel University. I studied for five years theology and social work. Having in my mind the desire to work and apply what I learned in the school, helping the dying people in my community. In 1996, we were able to start Emmanuel Hospice Project. We have now 12 employees who provide palliative care services for patients with advanced cancer. In palliative care, spiritual part is very important. It, it is a central part of the services which we provide and the fact that uh, I was equipped helped me a lot in providing spiritual counseling to the patients and their families. By God's grace, Emmanuel University is today the only accredited conservative evangelical university on the continent of Europe. And we train pastors, we train uh, school teachers, we train social workers, uh, train musicians, we train business people for the market because most people who need the gospel are not in churches on Sunday, but on the marketplace Monday to Friday. When I came here, I realized that it's much more than uh, studying my stuff and uh, then go and teach. It have a purpose and to know what God wants for you. It's a very different thing if you compare this university with others. The professors ask us how we are and uh, if we have problems. It's a special relationship. My name is Ilya Zundrea. I'm a professor in uh, Emmanuel University and the pastor of this community. My name is uh, Daniel Suchu. I'm a graduate of uh, Emmanuel University. I've been involved alongside uh, Pastor Elia here in this church since uh, 2008. Daniel was a very good student in, uh, during the four years and together we discovered that God put us together to be a ministry here. One of my desires was to serve alongside someone who is experienced in pastoral ministry. 
So the fact that God opened this door for me to come here and serve alongside uh, Brother Ilya was a meaningful experience because I'm not alone in this ministry. If we look geographically where we are situated, I believe uh, we are in a very strategic place. We are very close to the Western Europe, we are very close to the Middle East, we are very close to the former Russia, and uh, because of that, we have students that come from all of these places. They study here with us, they get the passion, the fire, they get the knowledge that they need, and then as soon as they graduate, they go back into the places where they are coming from. The fact that it's a Christian university made me to, to, to come here and uh, to study here because in Albania doesn't exist uh, any Christian schools. So for that reason I came here and I thank God. My desire is to, to start a business and after that uh, my desire is to, to share the gospel in Albania. When I was 15 years old I went on a mission trip with my pastor, my dad, to Romania for the first time. After high school, I, I took a year, I worked and saved up some money and, and was looking to go to, to college and I felt this pull to, to consider going back to Romania to go there and actually do my, my undergraduate work there. I felt my mind come alive at Emmanuel University. And it was a, it was a challenging education. It was a, an environment that was very conducive to learning, but, but not a learning that was disconnected from local church ministry. It was, a, it was a learning that was meant to equip us for ministry out in these churches that we were involved in. What is happening here at Emmanuel University is not just another higher education institution. It's a major confrontation between darkness and light. We are training a young generation, a new generation of men and women that will penetrate the darkest part of the world at this time. As we embrace the gospel and we face the challenge, we do believe that we need the support of our brothers and sisters from other parts of the world. One of the reasons why I can recommend Emmanuel University to anybody, anywhere, anytime is because the faculty and the administration of the school deeply and profoundly committed to what matters for time and eternity. And they're determined to get the gospel of Christ, not just to Romania, but as you know, there are students here from literally all over the globe. If I were to look back over my life and say, what have been the strongest, most influential years for ministry? It wouldn't be seminary in the United States, and it wouldn't be even really my church experience in the United States, as formative as that has been in a lot of ways. I look back to the five years in Romania and say that for me was absolutely critical for, for me and my spiritual development. I have a child on my own and I, I spoke with my wife. Uh, she also graduated management like me and uh, we were discussing about the future of our child. We decided to, to help the university growing because it's very important to, for our children to have a space or a place where, where they can be taught integrity. If you want to multiply your ministry, this is a great place where you can go sow into students. This just sends out waves after you, like concentric circles going out. It goes on and on and on and on. Thank you.